One of the biggest real world use cases for NFTs is in the real estate industry. Today, I'm gonna to show you a very unique project that combines real world real estate data like legal documents, images, cadastro maps into a platform that gamifies and creates NFTs out of these locations. This is a pretty unique project and we're gonna dive all into it today. Are you ready? Well, hey there, crypto friends. Thanks again for joining me. So today we're talking all about real estate and NFTs. Now, NFTs right now are really, you know, mostly just digital collectibles. They're secured by the blockchain and they have quite a few use cases, but we have not seen that many NFTs being used in the real world for real world use cases. You know, physical use cases, not just digital. Uh, but today we're gonna look at this project that kind of combines both of those things. Uh, this, you know, it basically is bringing in the real estate data uh, from, you know, all over, you know, different areas. So we're talking about, you know, uh, a cadaster maps, we're talking about GPS location, you could put legal documents in there, videos, photos, all of those types of things that you can connect to these, these real estate location NFTs. And so we're going to take a look today at Etherland, which is doing something actually a little bit unique that we have not seen in the space here thus far. But before we get started, if you're not already a part of my community of stashers, you don't need a mustache to join. You just need to learn loving about NFTs and crypto with the community, and you can sign up in my Telegram link there below. Okay, so let's go take a little bit of a look at uh, Etherland, because like I said, this is an interesting project that they've launched a, a couple of things going on here. In particular, recently, their estate of Pedia, which is going to be built up as this big real estate database that is secured by the blockchain with all this real world data on it, that then incorporates fun NFTs that represent that data here uh, in the digital platform. So let's go take a look at the website and we'll talk a little bit more about it. So uh, this is the Etherland site right here. And you know, or, I mean, uh, so right now they, uh, they have, uh, a way that you can jump on here and look at what's going on in the collections in the marketplace but they haven't allowed you to start registering your own places and i'm going to get into what that really means and why registering a place your own place could actually be a really big deal for you so let's go take a look at what they're offering right now so what they say connecting the blockchain to global real estate uh, and so you know owned and managed by people it's immutable uh, you know, on this blockchain and uh, you get rewarded for creating and staking digital assets that represent these real world places. And that's where the fun kind of NFT portion of this comes into. So you can see right now they are, what they're kind of starting with here too, is you can see they have some bids open and we're going to go look at some of those listings of some of these places and you guys can see what they really look like. Uh, but right now some of them are open C and we'll take a look uh, here in a second. But basically what they're trying to do is, you know, create this kind of wiki style, uh, what they call a statopedia, right? And so it's going to help to be able to, for people to be able to look up this information and know that it's correct. And to be able to edit that information, just like a wiki page, you have to be an owning land, you have to own that land idea of that land. So unlike Wikipedia, where you could just go in there and start editing any document you want, you actually have to own the NFT behind that specific plot of land before you can make those edits. But I think that that actually gives you quite a bit of utility on the platform with that land ID, which is a pretty interesting use case for an NFT in general. So you can see right now, uh, what they're really starting with to get this going is they're starting with what they call monuments. So they have already minted a bunch of these monument real estate NFTs, and they represent some of the biggest monuments around the world. Monuments like the Eiffel Tower, Statue of Liberty, uh, Big Ben, the pyramids at Giza. There are a bunch of them, and we'll, we'll show you a couple here in a second. Uh, but that's essentially what what is going on here, and you're you're you know you're going to be getting these these backed tokens, these land ID tokens that allow you to kind of do such a thing. And so each one of them has a unique identification. So looking at uh, one of the projects here that they've uh, they've been doing, which is we'll say Big Ben for example, right? Uh, Big Ben has a, a, a token identification of gb.l.m.l.1. You're like, well, what does all that mean? Well, GB stands for Great Britain, then uh, landmark, so uh, L dot, you know, LM, uh, landmark, and then monument, M for monument, and then L for London, and then one being the very first type of, uh, you know, NFT registered for that city. 
So you can see they've actually thought out the, the, the schema here of how they're gonna have to handle all of this data that is global data, right? So that's kind of uh, how they lay that out. Let's go take a look at what they're doing right now uh, because like I said, you cannot register your own places, but you can start to purchase some of these uh, you know, monuments right now uh, until they allow you to start registering you know, random locations. Uh, and then we'll get, and we'll get into uh, things that go beyond that too because there's more than just random locations. So let's, let's take a look at Big Ben. This is one of the ones that's already been registered. This is what a like uh, an, uh, an Estatopedia wiki style page is going to look like for each one of the different land types. So you can see here, uh, tells a little bit about it here at the top, Big Ben, where it's at. Uh, and then we get into the actual data. So, you know, it has all the basic stuff here, address, uh, also the creator's Ethereum address, and then you can see all the information that has been associated with this. So there's the land ID, uh, there's decentralized data that, is, that goes with uh, you know IPFS and on Ethereum. You can check it out here on Google Maps, which it shows exactly there. There's pictures uh, that you can see that they scroll through here, and I like I like how they kind of create the NFTs too with like the lat and the long that uh, are right here uh, with a little photo of it as well. So I think that's pretty cool. But you you can add additional photos as much as you want or videos into this same sort of format. Uh, as you can see here is a video of Big Ben. Uh, and then, you know, kind of look at like more maps and descriptions. And so, you know, uh, here's a whole description about Big Ben and everything like that. So, you know, right now these monument ones don't probably have as much of the real world data as you would be, you know, submitting for your own location, but uh, th they have exactly what you would kind of need for something of this nature, right? So if you look at, uh, you know, th this actual NFT, well, wh what does that look like? So let's go look at it here. Uh, on OpenSea. This is the NFT, and so you can see here, uh, Big Ben, you guys a buy it now price of, uh, of 1 million uh, ELAND currency, right? And uh, there's been some offers on this, and you guys can see uh, that uh, you, you can buy these on OpenSea. Uh, they have a bunch of, of monuments listed here, a bunch of the recent ones, newly minted, there's a couple that are already on auction, and these things are going for a pretty big price here. So you can see they're auctioning for some of these larger ones uh, from like five or four or five ETH to, to up to uh, seven to 10 uh, Ether for some of these auctions. A couple of these ones are a little bit cheaper. One of the most expensive ones I saw in here was the Pyramids at Giza. So they're already in the stage where they're selling these things and they're getting ready to, uh, to a point where they're going to allow people to start actually registering your own place. And that's where I think things really start to get exciting here. So not only can you collect you know, these monuments, you can start registering your own locations and collecting those NFTs as well. Now, what is really special on top of that is if you can actually prove that you own that location, say like your house or your business, right, and you can submit documents to them, they go through a whole like KYC process of making sure that you are the actual legit owner of this, then you it gives you like a special verified badge on your listing. So the person that is looking at that, you know, Estatopedia wiki style list, listing, they know that this 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 uh, real estate listing, or you know, has been verified and the owner who actually owns that, that parcel uh, is the one who is managing that page. And so they would have the NFT that, you know, goes behind that. And so I think that's a pretty interesting concept. You know, really tying these two things back together. We have all this real uh, real estate data that's floating out there. It's in all these different areas. Sometimes it's hard to manage, hard to get. Uh, but you know what they're trying to do here with this uh, Statopedia is is really combined it all into one platform that's secured by the blockchain, and then also gives you uh, the ability to to you know also verify yourself, so you can have your own property that you own on here as an nft i would love to do some of this i want to have my house i'm going to go and just grab all the nfts for my city and i'm going to be the big re virtual real estate nft baller here on on etherland so a uh, really interesting project i love the fact that they're they're really combining real world data with nfts i i'm seeing that more and more here physical components combined with digital components for nfts and i love uh the head the start that uh, etherland has uh, on that with this kind of interesting project so Hope you guys enjoyed that, uh, this you know quick uh, breakdown of exactly what's going on here. Look for them to be releasing uh, the, the ability to, to you know claim your own spot here in, in the very near future. Uh, but for now, you can definitely jump on OpenSea and start bidding on some of those sweet, sweet monuments that are on there. Uh, I want to try and go for that Giza. I I, I've always been a huge fan of the pyramids at Giza. That, when, I, when I think of monument, that is like the monument of monuments, right? 
uh, but it's probably the most expensive one on there, so who knows? But in general, I think it is a really uh, fun idea, and I encourage you guys to go check it out. And let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. If uh, you're big into real estate and you think, hey, this is a stupid idea. I love real estate, and I, I do all real estate things and stash. I don't get it. Uh, but leave me a, a, a comment there, and let me know what you guys think of Etherland. I think that's all we have for today, folks. Till next time, stash that crypto, friends.